Today I want to talk to you about the money maker. Speed. Speed is the one thing every athlete, coach, or scout wants to see improved. Speed allows athletes to be drafted higher in any draft. MLB draft, NFL draft, NHL draft. Even faster linemen in the NFL get drafted higher. If you don't know how to run, then you're behind in the game. You can drop a division or even not even play a college sport because you lack speed, the speed that they're looking for. So do you want to learn how to be faster? Sure you do. Who doesn't? What athlete doesn't want to get faster? That's why you're listening to this now. The funny thing is that many, many people, maybe even you, think speed is a God-given talent that cannot be taught. I agree that genetics dictate a lot when it comes to speed, but speed is a skill. With it being a skill, speed can be taught. There are six basic things when it comes to speed that I talk to my athletes about on a daily basis. So I'm going to break down into two categories. I'm going to split this up. Category one, three things that determine speed, which is your stride length. This is the amount of distance an athlete covers per stride. It is not how far the athlete reaches out in front of their body. When that happens, it's a breaking force. Normally, taller athletes have a larger stride length. Number two, stride frequency. Stride frequency is how fast an athlete's legs turn over during sprinting. Normally, shorter athletes will have a faster stride frequency. And number three is force application. Force application is how much force an athlete applies to the ground that generates enough power to propel the body forward. More force applied to the ground in the proper direction, the faster that an athlete is going to run. In category two, your three phases of a sprint. First phase, acceleration. This is your first five to seven yards of a straight line sprint. The focus is on applying force behind the body while maintaining a 45 degree lean as long as possible. Phase number two is your transitional phase. The transitional phase is at the end of the acceleration phase when the body starts to naturally come up. We are looking for the body to rise like an airplane would at takeoff. It should be smooth, it should be natural. This phase continues to around 30 yards on a sprint. And then three is our max velocity phase. The max velocity phase is the final phase of a sprint. This is where the athlete is upright, the feet land under the hip to propel the body forward. The goal is to maintain speed during this phase where most other athletes actually lose speed. This phase is all about efficiency. This all sounds like a lot and sounds complicated, but they are easily learned when it's broken down into specifics, phases, pieces. Breaking it down into specifics is, is exactly what we do. We simplify this through specific protocols that cover each of these six components. If you have any questions about any of these, then comment below, please. I will answer them as soon as possible. You can also comment group below to be part of our private Facebook community where we share valuable information about training, nutrition, accountability, and leadership.